Hello and welcome to another painting video. In this video, I'll be painting the Tarantulous Brood of the Warcry Red Harvest box set. I tried to come up with a quick method of painting this warband in a creepy way. Let's begin, shall we? I start with priming the model black using an airbrush and Vallejo Black Primer. I make sure the entire model is black, also in the hard to reach places. <coughs> Next I make a zenithal highlight of not white, but a mix of slanish grey and zerius purple. I want the entire model to keep a purplish hue and make sure the brightest color won't be completely white. This will help stand out the webbing a little bit more as well. The skin I paint with a very watered down iron rack skin. I do two passes on the model, but make sure the purplish hue is still showing through. I also keep the purple in the shadowy parts. I repeat the last step with a watered down deepkin flesh. The consistency of these paints is almost a glaze, but not quite. I focus on the upper parts here. The last highlight of the skin is a very watered down palette switch flesh. Now the zenithal highlight might look a bit weird, but I found experimenting with different colors of zenithal really gives a different result if you water your paints down. The skin is down, let's have a look at the cloak. The cloak I keep very simple. First I paint the entire cloak with a watered down Cantor blue. Then I add two highlights. First I use Aletiak blue. And the second is Hoeth Blue. Now this blue isn't really creepy looking, but for the base colors I try to keep it a little bit bright as I'm going to darken the entire model in the last step. All the webbing on the model I paint with Celestra Grey. Take your time here as most of the webbing goes over the already painted skin. I highlight with Ulthan Grey. And add a highlight of White Scar to make the webbing the brightest spot on the model. These models are just festooned with webbing everywhere. Now, let's go over some creepy spider bits and weapons next. I first paint all the spider bits like the mask and the mandibles with the black templar. All the weapons and claws I can find I paint with basiliconum grey. All the spider bits and the actual spiders on the models I highlight with thunderhawk blue. And highlight again with Verizian Grey. I use Administratum Grey to highlight the weapons and the claws. And I add a second highlight of Ulthan Grey to the weapons to give them a non-metallic look. The eyes on the mask or spider face I paint with fire dragon bright. And then highlight them with dorn yellow. The model is coming along nicely in a very dark desaturated look. A good base to make them look creepy. But there is need of a spot color that will help them stand out a little bit. The way GW paints them, they have these bright orange sashes, which I really like. 
I'll be painting my own version of that next. I'm actually going to use the same method as the spider mask eyes here. First, I paint the sash with a watered down Fire Dragon Bright. And then a highlight with Dorn Yellow. The clasp on the sash I paint with snakebite leather. This is a great base for a non-metallic brass looking color. I use Hobgrad Hide to highlight. And add a spot highlight of Dorn Yellow to really sell that non-metallic brass look. This is not as bright as the GW version, but I think that would look really weird on this model. We're mostly done here, but I want to add some finishing touches to help sell the creepy look. The base gets a coat of Fire Slayer Flash Contrast Paint. Maybe a weird paint for a base, but it works really well with the purple undercoat. I add a highlight of Slanesh Grey to bring back the purple a little bit. And then I apply Streaking Grime to the entire model and base. You can also use an oil wash. I actually tried that, but it didn't look as good as the Streaking Grime. Then, either with a dry makeup sponge or using some white spirit, Remove the streaking grime from all the raised areas. This will make the model look instantly grimdark. Then I paint the rim of the base with Corvus Black. And finally I'm trying out this spider serum I bought from Green Stuff World. And wow, look at that effect, it's really cool. And here we have a very creepy looking Tarantulas Brood Warband. I can really see these creepy dudes and gals living in dark damp caves, only coming out to attack poor adventurers who get too close to their lair. I may have gone a little overboard with the spider serum effect, but it does really fit these guys. I haven't had a chance to play with them on the tabletop, so I'm also very curious about that. For my next video, I'm going to paint a little goblin rogue which I'll be using in a Pathfinder campaign. He's also an undead, so I want to make him look extra gnarly. In the meantime, be sure to check out my Instagram, where I post pictures of current projects and behind the scenes stuff. But for now, thanks for watching.